Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. So today I'm really excited to bring you this look featuring all Urban Outfitters Beauty products. So I did a collaboration with Urban Outfitters Beauty and they came over all the way from Philly and filmed my apartment, like an apartment tour get ready with me type video and then also a makeup look video. So there's two videos, I believe one's already up on their channel. I'll have the link down in the description box, but go ahead and subscribe to their channel. They have amazing content. But I'm really excited to be working with Urban Outfitters Beauty because before they even contacted me, I shop there for makeup regularly. They always feature really cool brands that I don't really find anywhere else. So this is the look that I created. Super simple. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look, then keep on watching and I'll walk you through it. I'm going to be real with you, I don't wash my hair every day, I don't even wash it every other day. I skip days and this is my third day of not washing my hair and to be honest when I woke up this morning I was like, you know what, it doesn't look so bad. The only thing is that, you know, it gets really greasy at my roots. So I've been using this and I'm almost out of it actually. This is Batiste Dry Shampoo in the Clean and Classic Original. What I do is I spray it directly on my roots and then I put it on a shower cap and then take a quick maybe three to five minute shower. My water heater is super tiny, so I can't really take long showers, which is a good thing because we're in such a bad drought. So yeah, every other morning, I kind of douse my roots with this, and I just hold it maybe this far apart, like maybe a foot, two feet apart, and then just kind of douse the roots of my hair, put on a shower cap, and then when I get out of the shower, I kind of just run it back through my hair like that, and then it kind of disappears. So yeah, I give it a little bit of time to absorb, and then I brush it through. So I'm gonna move on to my face. I'm using the Mario Badescu Skin Care Oil-Free Moisturizer in SPF 30. And I really like this because it smells like tea to me. And I use like about a pea-sized amount. And then press it onto my face. And it smells so good. And then I also bring it down into my neck too. Okay, next I'm going to moisturize my lips. And this is the Milk Makeup Rosé. I think this is called the Lip Salve. Yeah. It smells like lavender. It's called Rosé, but the color doesn't really show up on me. And it has a little bit of like a holographic highlight in it. So it makes your lips really shiny. But it does sink in and completely moisturizes my lips, so I love this. The first time I used it, I didn't really like it because I thought that it was kind of greasy, but then as soon as it sunk in, like maybe five seconds later, I was hooked, so I've been using it since, so I totally have like a dip in it, and I can't wait to repurchase this. Next, moving on to foundation, I'm going to use the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint with SPF 30, and I'm actually in between shades, so I have Medium and Honey, and these are great. All you have to do is click it, and then put it directly on your skin. And it smells a little bit like tangerine. I really like it. When you apply it in the morning, it really just wakes you up. I haven't been wearing foundation every single day, but when I do, I like using this stuff because it's just nice and sheer, not too offensive, not too much coverage. And I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend everything out. You can actually use your fingers too, but I like the beauty blender because it really spreads everything out evenly and gives me like the thinnest layer possible. So how do you guys store your beauty blender? So like my friend who introduced me to like beauty sponges, she stores it in like her old candles after she uses it. She um, just puts a beauty blender inside. But it sinks all the way in so it just kind of cups the beauty blender. And then the little plastic container that it comes in, the beauty blender itself, I don't really like it because it doesn't look so pretty. So it's not something that I want to like keep on my countertop, you know? So I've been using like a little beaker to store it and then there's a little pore spout too so you, um, it's a little opening so air can get in and everything so I don't have to worry about it getting moldy or whatnot. I really like that but once the beauty blender dries it just, you know, contracts and then it falls all the way in so I don't know if that's the best option. So if you guys have any better um, options, let me know. So once it's set, I like to contour so I've been using the Milk Makeup Bronzer or Matte Bronzer and the color is called Baked. And it's just like a nice darker skin tone, I would say. And then I just put it on the shallow points or like the darker points in my face. So up on my temples, right there. And then right below my cheekbones. That. And then also my jaw right there. And then I also take a little bit with my finger and then kind of run it down the sides of my nose. Like that. And I would say this is like a cream to powder because it dries down to like a really nice powdery finish. So I'm going to take a beauty blender and just blend it in. Another thing I like to do is put a little bit on my eyelids and then a little bit around my eyes as well. 
underneath. For blush, I'm using Stila, and this is Water Lily. I believe it's a watercolor, yeah, Aqua Glow watercolor blush. So it's really interesting. You shake it up, and it's a wet formula. So you have to take, well, I usually take what's in the lid, but you can even take it from in here. And you can use like a brush if you wanted to, but I just use my fingers and I kind of just dip it on the apples of my cheeks and then blend it out. And it really is like a watercolor. It blends out seamlessly. Okay, so moving on to my brows, I've been using a lot of Anastasia. This is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Granite. And what I do is I actually use the lighter color. Sometimes I mix it with a darker color if I'm wearing like a red lip. Um, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of both. Oh, and this is an Anastasia double-ended brush. This is the best thing ever because you really do need a spoolie to comb everything through. So usually with the powder, I start at the tail end. And then kind of just fill in going towards the front and then kind of use whatever's left behind on the front of my brows so it looks a little bit more natural. I used to do it the opposite way and it made my brows look kind of severe so I've been doing it this way and I like it. And powders are so easy to use as well. And then after that I go in with the pomade with the same brush and just dip a little bit in there just to kind of seal it in. Sometimes you just use this, and sometimes I just use the powder on its own and then put like a gel over it. But today, since I'm gonna be wearing a red lip, I kinda wanna go the extra mile. And once it's all in there, I like to take the spoolie side and just kind of comb everything up and out of the way. Yeah, it just makes everything look a lot more natural. You know, I'm gonna put some eyeshadow on too. This is the BH Cosmetics Essential Eyes 28 color palette. This is incredible. Look at this. Anyway, um, I'm going to use this orangey color right here. So it's like right in the center up top. It's a little bit shimmery. I'm just going to take that and then kind of wash my lids with it real quick. And then underneath my eyes as well. Cool. For mascara, I'm using the Ico Black Magic Mascara, and this is great because it's in a squeeze tube, like this, or like a toothpaste tube, so you can really get everything off the brush, which is nice, and then when you run out of mascara, or when you're running low, you can really scrape everything out, too. So it's such a smart design. Anyway, it has a little bit of a curved brush. I like this because my lashes are so short, so it really coats everything, and picks up everything as well, without clumping. So next I'm going to use lip color and this is the Milk Makeup Lip Color in the color OG Red. I love red lipstick and I really like this one because it has a little bit of like an orangey undertone and it really stands out on my lips. And whenever I'm wearing a lipstick, like an actual lipstick, I kind of like a lived in lip look. So napkin, press everything in place and then it kind of mattifies that a little bit as well and you get like the excess off, which is nice. But I prefer this because it makes it look like you've been wearing this red lipstick for a little bit. And it also makes the lipstick look kind of like a stain too, so I really like it. So yeah, that's about it. Super easy, right? Thank you guys for watching this. All the products will be linked in the description box down below. And if you guys have any questions about any of these products, let me know. If you guys want to see the videos that I did in collaboration with Urban Outfitters on their channel, just tune on over. I'll have a link down below. It's just youtube.com slash UOTV. They filmed two videos. One's like a get ready with me apartment tour and then another one's like inside a studio applying a makeup look using a bold actually this color right here it's like a dark lip if you guys watch it let me know what you guys think thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later bye